Rashid says, as ties should not be cut with relatives, does it include first relatives that are parents, brothers, sisters, or cousins, second cousins, or distant relatives are also included? Well, first of all, cutting the next of kin, severing kinship, is a major sin. And this is given. Now, your relationship with your kinship varies. So my relationship to my parents is definitely not like my relationship to my siblings. And to my siblings is not like to my cousins. And to my cousins is not like to my second or third cousins and so on. And therefore, each category varies in the way I connect to them. So I connect totally and fully to my parents in terms of obedience, being dutiful, respectful, and financially supporting them far more greater than I am to my siblings. So each one of them is, yes, if you sever your kinship, you're sinful. But my second cousins, for example, I can call them once every couple of months and still be considered to be on good terms with them. But I can't do that with my siblings, let alone my parents, because if I don't call them, my, if I don't call my parents on like daily basis and, and check on them, I'm not dutiful. And if I don't call my siblings like every couple of days or every week and check on them and meet them and see them, I'm considered to be severing the ties of kinship. But how do we differentiate and how do we measure that this is severing or connecting? Scholars say that connecting your kinship is something dependent on the urf, on what is acknowledged and accepted among the community and the society. So they say that when the society considers something to be severing the kinship, then it is. Nowadays, for example, if you give your sibling a call every couple of days for 20 to 15 to 30 seconds. How are things? How are you doing? How are the kids? How's work? Do you need anything? Yeah, well, I haven't seen you. Okay, mom was fine. I went there yesterday and uh, maybe next week we have this. And Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Good talking to you. Salam alaikum alaykum salam. That's it. This would be connecting to your kinship. But if, for example, your brother invites you to his son's wedding, and you don't show up, this is severing kinship. Especially if you don't apologize and he accepts your apology for a legitimate reason. So you have to weigh the pros and cons. But again, your further relatives do not have the same rights as the close relatives of yours and Allah knows best.